This piece is Fidelia and Speranza, produced in 1776 by Benjamin West. The subject matter of the artwork portrays a scene from The Fairy Queen, a poem by Sir Edmund Spencer that celebrates Christian values. The piece was acquired by the Putnam Foundation in 1969 and is currently on display at the Timken Museum of Art in Baboa Park. Fidelia is painted on the left. Her name means faith. She's clothed in white drapery and is holding the New Testament and a gold chalice with a poisonous snake coming out of it. Her sister, Speranza, is on the right. Her name means hope. She's clothed in mauve and green drapery. They are awaiting the arrival of the Red Cross Knight. Both sisters represent Elizabethan era virgins. At the bottom left of the painting is the Red Cross Knight. He represents the sinful human soul. He's also on top of the horse. He's led through the stormy scene by Una, who represents truth, and is painted on top of a donkey. The material used to produce the work is on oil on canvas. Benjamin West uses many implied lines in this painting. The left hand of Speranza implies that she's holding onto her sister's arm. The painter also uses diagonal lines in the trees located to the left of the painting to simulate movement. The entire painting was made using a cross-hatching technique so that it is three-dimensional. The faces of the two women were painted using line quality to convey the emotion of fragility. Fidelia, to the left, appears to have a thick angular brow which could be indicative of a more serious demeanor. Benjamin West uses high intensity colors in the bodies of the two women and in the sky to the left. The gold chalice held by Fidelia appears to stimulate a bronze texture. Benjamin West uses aerial perspective by blurring out the background of the trees to maintain the two sisters as the focal point of the piece. And personally, I was drawn to this artwork because it reminded me of me and my sister. Um, and overall, the painting has great detail work and I really enjoyed visiting the Timken Museum in Balboa Park. And admission is free, just in case anybody wants to. So...